In 1519, Hernan Cortez set sail to what is now modern day Mexico. With a spirit of adventure and his eyes on a prize, he led the members of his crew into the heart of a new world, ready to face whatever challenges might be ahead of them. However, when they arrived to what is now modern day Mexico, they realized that they would have to fight off the Aztec Empire. Now, this was a pivotal moment because the Aztecs far outnumbered Cortez's men. They were also starting to run low on supplies. This wasn't looking good for Cortez and his crew. Some of the men in his crew were even planning to have a mutiny. They were going to take over and they were going to throw him out and kill him. But Hernan had a plan to make sure his men were as committed as he was to this journey. Despite all the things that were against him and his men, he made a decision that shocked everyone. He ordered the ships in the port to be burned. So as he burned the ships, the members of his crew watched and they realized that their only way to get back home was gone. This made the message very clear to his crew, which was, there is no turning back. This meant they had to push forward. They had to conquer the Aztec empire and they couldn't fail. The decision that Cortez made to burn the ships showed everyone the seriousness of this mission. It was a bold statement of determination that they either had to succeed or die. This example showed Cortez's leadership and it also showed the will of the explorers who in their quest for glory and riches would do anything to achieve it, even if that means getting rid of their only option to get back home. But this action of burning the boats also serves as an example in life. So I didn't coin the phrase burning the boats, but the concept applies all the same. So basically the concept is if you have one goal, one path you can take to reach that goal. And let's say there's stuff that's either distracting you. Let's say there's stuff that you could also do another path you can take. The concept of burning the boats is getting rid of any other path. So you're getting rid of any plan B and you're only going for plan A and there's no way that you can get plan B, like you cut it off completely. That's why it's called burning the boats because when they burn the boats, they burn their opportunity to go back home. So they had to stay and fight and they had to win the fight because if they lost the fight, they would just perish and they would die. So an example of this would be, let's say your goal is to start eating healthier, right? Examples of burning the boats in that situation would be getting rid of all unhealthy food in your house. So you go through your kitchen, you get rid of all the food that doesn't fit your new diet. By removing these options, you have to find healthier alternatives and you won't be able to eat the unhealthy food because it'll be gone. You can also make a public commitment and tell everyone about your goal. That creates a layer of accountability for you and you don't wanna fall short of the expectations that others have of you now because you told everybody. You could also invest into healthy eating so you can buy a meal prep program. This covers the financial investment and you're more likely to stick to it because you already invested some money into it. So. It wouldn't make that much sense if you just sort of gave up now, would it? An example of burning the boats in my own personal life would be I left school to go all in on business. So this basically just removes the safety net of getting a safe and secure job. So I can't do that anymore because I'm not in school. And it gives me more time to just work on my business, take sales calls, do marketing, all that shit. So with burning the boats, you really have to go all in on one thing and eliminate any option for something that's not the result you're looking for. So I want you to make a list. I want you to get out a pen and paper, pencil paper right now, get it right now, get it right now. And you're going to write down your biggest goal. This is the one thing you want to do. Then I want you to write down any other path or option you can take that won't lead to your goal. Then I want you to write down anything that can stop you from reaching your main goal. And once you're done with that, I want you to write down the final list of anything that can take attention and focus away from your main goal. Maybe what's taking away your attention is a new habit you've been trying, which doesn't actually contribute to your main goal. So once you write down all these things, all the things that can distract you, all the other paths you can take, all of that stuff, once you write it all down, I want you to also write down next to it how to get rid of it, how to burn the boat. And once you write down how to burn the boat, you are going to have this list of things that can take away from your goal. And you're going to have another list of things that you can do to get rid of those things. Once you do that, you'll have the whole blueprint to burn your boats. I will say though, as a little warning, 99% of the time, 
burning the boats doesn't make any sense. It's not supposed to make any sense. It didn't make any sense when Cortez burned the boats in front of his men because that was their only option to get home. They could have just gotten on the boat, they could have gone home, then they could have came back and they could have fought off the Aztecs. But instead, he just decided to burn the boat. And it wasn't the most logical thing to do. And it's still going to be the case. Most of the times, burning the boat is not going to be the most logical thing to do. This doesn't mean it's a terrible thing to do, and this doesn't mean it's the best thing to do. It just means you have to get rid of all backup plans. There cannot be a backup plan. You have to get rid of any way out. You have to get rid of anything that can distract you. You have to get rid of anything that takes your focus away. You have to get rid of everything that doesn't support you to your goal. And 99% of the time, this won't be a logical decision to do. So. While it doesn't really make that much logical sense most of the time, it is the best option for forcing you into a corner. And when you're forced into a corner, you perform better. It's like Andrew Tate says, you're a different man when you have no safety net. So now that you have your list, you have all the things you need to do to burn the boats, are you gonna do it? It will help you achieve your goal quicker because if your goal is to let's say run a marketing agency, but you still keep depending on your job for that weekly paycheck. You could just leave your job and burn the boats and then you are forced to make money with a marketing agency or else you won't have rent and you won't have food. So while it's not logical to get rid of your job, it will put you in the corner and you will be forced to make it with your marketing agency. So yeah, that's all I wanted to come on here and talk about. Um, I'm gonna cut to a little leg day workout. It is currently 8 p.m. Yeah but we're gonna go ahead and light work out. So. I will see you at Lifetime Fitness. Metro and his bitch aren't brave. Strike like a match, knock him out his hat. Knife to a gunfight, this ain't none of that. Had to cut her off, she got too attached. I ain't wasting time that I'm never getting back. Taking less L's, making more M's. Put her skims on, now she acting like she Kim. Take it to the paint. Take it to the rim You look good on camera, baby Let's go make a film It's fucking crazy There's so much stuff going on in Carly Park What is it? Sunday well, Sunday morning so It starts at like 6 or 9 a.m. It's fucking crazy 6 or 9 a.m. They start early as They now. start early as shit where, where is it, Miami? Uh, no, it's super north It's in like West Palm, I think Oh, it's calm. I'm down, bro. It's calm, man. Here, here. Cross the fucking call me. Working on ads right now. Heaven must have sent you from the sky. I mean it. I need I to mean watch it. the replay. I don't. I couldn't. I mean it. That angle, I couldn't see. And how clean it is. Heaven must have sent you from the stars above. It's currently 11:20 p.m. and I am running ads right now. Little side job has nothing to do with my main thing, but I have made $200 in the last hour hour and a half i'm doing these tiktok ads so not that bad pretty solid